Hello everybody, my name is Levon, and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on my Black Soldier Fly composter. I have, uh, I've just elevated it for now so that the ants and those little critters can't crawl up and into it. A little bit of water, cinder block, and a, uh, like a patio stone of some sort, it's a hexagon. And I put this guy on here, it's half a Rubbermaid container, trash can. Uh, this is supposed to be a tea bleed off, but I just never get that much moisture in here, so I just never have to bleed anything off. Um, I was so shocked at what I found in here today. I had the most larvae in here than uh, than I've ever had. In fact, I only had that much sawdust that I put in there yesterday, and uh, the sawdust had reached way up to here because it it was just so full of them. I'm gonna fly in there. Get out of there. And it looks like I got a little bit more today, but uh, the mount, I want to say, I easily had 300 or more. This, like I said, I had that much sawdust, and all the real estate was taken up. My sawdust was up here, and it was just full of them. Uh, so how I built this guy, you got the little T at the top. That allows the female to go up and down, and I have a cardboard hanging from there. And that cardboard is where she lays her eggs and those eggs then fall down into the compost which yesterday I had loaded it full and there you go you can kinda of see a couple of the grubbies eating away well what happens is this is a uh, um, Arizona iced tea one gallon bottle container it has polypropylene 5 I believe and the same thing with that one what I've done is I've led them into a tube that leads up out into this Y and then they fall into the bin. Well, as you can see, I have one on each side. When these guys eat and they mature, then they start crawling like this guy is right here. I don't know if you can see him. So you see that brown guy? He's When they reach that color, that brown color, they start crawling, trying to get out. Now they're gonna crawl around, crawl around, then they're gonna finally hit one of these ramps here, and they're gonna crawl up and deposit themselves into this container. Self-harvesting grubs. So that's how this guy works. I put a little computer fan so that it continuously sucks in, blows cool air in through there, and it replaces the hot air in here. And as you can see, I've put these uh, styrofoam sheets above because they like the shade. And I got to tell you, this thing was loaded full yesterday with cantaloupe and all these fresh, uh, fresh organic vegetables that were left over. Cantaloupe had turned, so I ended up throwing it in here. But they devoured it all and they loved it. Here's another guy just crawling away. He's ready to come out. So at one point, he'll hit the outer circle and he'll start walking around and these ramps, they can easily move. So he'll push the ramp aside and he'll end up in one of these tubes, either that one or this one, and he'll self-deposit himself into there. And I like to put, I put Velcro at the top because uh, before I had the fan, they used to try to crawl out when it, get little, when it got really warm. So that's how I took care of the problem. Just put a fan, make sure this closes nice and tight. Get a good seal so you can vent out all that. Sorry guys, just making a seal here. So that you vent out all the, uh, that hot air that gets caught up in there. And there you go. I didn't really seal it, but I'll put a seal around it. Like I said, a little computer fan runs during the day. Like every 15 minutes, it runs for like 45 minutes, shuts off for 15, something around there. And then when it gets dark, it shuts off too. And that's it. And here, let me show you what I got. <clears throat> I'll give you an idea of what kind of uh, stuff I'm producing here. Let me grab one of these containers. Let me see if I can dump it into here. This might work. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Okay, so I'll just show you what kind of things I'm producing. And what kind of, I did this so that the ants don't attack them because they came and they were being under siege by the ants. So look at what I'm getting here. And they like to burrow, so when we get to the bottom, and this is kind of hard to do with the two hands here. Or one hand, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that.
Look at that. That is 43%. Uh -huh. Look at the ant. He's already found him. Look at that little bum. He's trying to find these guys. Look at that mass. <clears throat> that is all organic grubs that have been eating organic food that we feed them, our leftovers, and they love it. They eat it all up, and they are really good at breaking down food. And this is what's going to be fed to my koi fish. That's what I'm going to feed my tilapia. And I'm going to freeze these guys and grind them down with some duckweed and make my own food for my own fish. And it'll be all natural. Everything coming for free. No more buying uh, stuff or uh, going driving all over the place to buy stuff. So <clears throat> this is going to be my food from now on for my fish. These guys are all free from Mother Nature. And I've only been running this composter for I think less than two months. And I've just got an amazing amount of grubs. So you can build one yourself. I pretty much showed you everything. The bottom layers I elevate it with uh, I uh, put a, uh, you can either put wire mesh or anything like that, put a couple bricks at the bottom so you have about three or four inches of space on your composter, put wire mesh or you can even put chicken grate or anything like that, uh, even uh, cut up a uh, plastic container, just make sure and then you fill it up with uh, moist sawdust, give it a nice three or four inches layer and start throwing all your food in there and all your leftovers and uh, the cardboard at the top is where the eggs are going to be deposited when the female smells the compost she'll come and lay her eggs and he will have this in a matter of no time I like to be covered up so <clears throat> and I throw a handful of them you know in the neighbor's yard and in my yard and basically I want the females I want these guys to grow and be more females and come and lay more eggs in my composter but there you go you can easily build one you can either uh, send me a message or IM me or uh, leave a message here on YouTube and uh, I can uh, help you out. There's a hundred videos out there you can look it up. Black Soldier Fly Composter. It just happens to be uh, year-round here in California, so I'll be benefited and blessed with uh, free organic food from Mother Nature to feed my fish. I got this and I got a bunch of duckweed over there growing. So, and then I got my next generation tilapia. I sold all these babies. And I got all these little guys here. That are going to be my my next generation. Hey, right. thank you guys for watching. Uh, Black Soldier Fly Composter. I'm going to feed these guys. Duckweed's going to feed these guys. That's all you need to do. Feed your any animal actually. That'll be perfect for chicken. That'll be perfect for koi. Perfect for tilapia. And uh, no, the fact that I know if I want to eat these guys, I know where they came from and what they were eating. So doesn't get any more natural than that. Thank you guys for watching.